groups and supporters of the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC Bola Tinubu, the Nigerian Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo and Kogi State Governor Yahaya Bello have continued to press home their allegiances and interest for the seat of the president come 2023 election. And this is as these politicians are yet to indicate interest in running for the position. Jacinta Obuku X-rays the internal politicking among some groups ahead of 2023 elections. End of parties internal politicking and campaign for political actors by their supporters is not new, even when the politicians in question have not announced their interest to run for the positions. On August the 27th, 2021, members of a pro-democracy group known as the Progressive Consolidation Group visited Governor Aminu Masari of Katsina State to converse for Professor Yemi Oshibaju's presidency in 2023. The group, however, told Masari that they were not sent by the vice president. Later on, the group received the approval of the All Progressives Congress to converse support for his emergence as the party's presidential candidate for the 2023 presidential election. Countering their position, another group, Southwest Agenda Swaga 23, said the progressive consolidation we are wasting their time as Oshibaju cannot compete with Tunubu in politics. Oshiba, you will never stand in front of Tinubu and say he wants to become president of this country. I don't think he can do that. Because he is just a, a baby that uh, Tinubu born. Anybody can try his own law. People may be pushing him. He will not push himself. I am confident of that. You don't just pick anybody as president of this country. Our president of today is a true that made him the president. It's not because of Tinubu, it will, not, it will never, never be the president of this country. This got a political analyst Babashola Adebuye talking. He described the calls for both Vice President Yemi Oshibajo and former Governor Bola Tunubu to run for presidency under the platform of the All Progressives Congress as a political game. Adebuye stressed that Bola Tunubu can only be interested in remaining the political godfather and not the seat of the presidency. It's a game that we either pay one of them. In other words, when the time comes for negotiation, someone will have to agree with another person, whereby the two of them will have the collaboration and they work together as one. Well. I am not seeing Ashwa Tibola make Tinubu campaigning, uh, contesting for this election. I believe Ashwa Tibola make Tinubu is actually doing this for someone and is looking for a way to become a political godfather in Nigeria, whereby he will be in a position. Because it's wider than he contesting, he knows. I understand the political game more than most of these people. On the other hand, there are also groups gunning for the Kogi State Governor, Yahaya Bello, to run for presidency, one of which is Bello for Nigeria Group. They believe the governor has all it takes. Governor Yahaya Bello is someone that is uh, good to govern this country because Kogi State is a good example of what Nigeria is today. You can make people come together to um, to pursue the same thing, same, to have same agenda, to have fit with, as a leader, a good leader. You have to as all this and same. You cannot look for a world solution to a new generation problem. It's almost impossible. You almost not get anything done. And on the concerns that the governor is yet to show interest in their request, she said it is inconsequential. Whatever you believe in, you have to start working on it. And that's why parents that believe my child will go to school, they take their children to that path. Others that believe, no, it's skills and uh, appreciation, they take their children there. Probably because we do not have anybody that's appealing to us. And we see the way things are. So it is better we start earlier so that people will know, yes, this is where these people are going. Or they will know we already have solutions to the future problems. While there are lots of arguments and preference as to who becomes the president, the ball is in the court of citizens to decide Nigeria's number one public officer come 2023. Jacinta Ubuku for Plus TV, Africa. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.